This season, prepare for every season with the Allbirds Mizzle Collection. These shoes were made for adventures in rain, shine, mist, or snow. Go to allbirds.com and use code FRESHSOCKS for a free pair of socks with your purchase. And for more, we have Simon Marks reporting live from Washington, D.C. Simon, thank you for joining us. President Biden said there need not be a cold war with China, but even after this meeting, it seems tensions remain high between the two superpowers. Yeah, absolutely. And that will come as no surprise, certainly to anyone in the White House or to most foreign policy observers here in Washington, D.C., because, uh, you know, the White House has been clear one meeting between these two men could not possibly resolve all the complexities and all the challenges in the bilateral relationship between Washington and Beijing. But the Americans are pointing to some deliverables coming out of this meeting, uh, an agreement to resume talks on climate change between between the United States and China that had been suspended and the Biden administration and the president personally uh, pointing to the issue of climate change as one area where the United States and China can continue to find common ground, an area where uh, the president argues their interests align and can make some progress. The other deliverable, uh, according to the US side, an agreement that Secretary of State Antony Blinken will be heading to China at some point soon uh, to advance the dialogue that began with that first uh, face-to-face -face meeting between Presidents Biden and Xi since they both became leaders uh, of their respective countries. President Biden characterised these conversations today not just as candid but at times blunt, the United States insisting that he didn't uh, hesitate uh, from discussing issues including human rights, Tibet, Xinjiang, uh, Taiwan and, of course, uh, Ukraine areas of uh, fundamental disagreement between the United States and Beijing. Nonetheless, he said, there is no reason for those tensions to lead to a new Cold War uh, between China and the United States. He said he wanted to ensure there are no misunderstandings, and he believed that that candid conversation between these two men, who, of course, know each other of old, can help ensure that, going forward, uh, misunderstandings are headed off through further dialogue by lower-level officials that the U.S. says will now take place. Well, Simon, Mr Biden also pressed China on uh, to take action on North Korea. Was their response there? Well, well, I mean, that is one area where the United States, frankly, needs Chinese help. And the United States, of course, recognises uh, Chinese leverage, its relationship with the North Koreans, because uh, Washington has been stymied by the failure of Kim Jong-un even to respond uh, to proposals by the United States to resume some kind of dialogue since Joe Biden became president. So President Biden said he made it clear to Xi Jinping that China should engage with North Korea and send a clear message to North Korea that the United States intends to defend its allies in the event of any uh, aggressive behaviour. And obviously the US argues it has already seen plenty of aggressive behaviour over the last few weeks towards its uh, allies and partners in the region. Uh, the president conceded that it is difficult with any sense of certainty uh, to say that China can control North Korea, but the US definitely sees uh, President Xi and Beijing as an opportunity at least to convey sentiments to the North Koreans, sentiments, of course, that the United States has publicly expressed. But that was definitely an effort uh, to try and secure leverage from uh, the Chinese leader. We'll have to see whether that uh, leads to anything concrete in the weeks ahead. And North Korea suddenly a wild card in that dynamic relationship. Thank you, Simon. Simon Marks reporting live from Washington, D.C. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.